Number 12, Northern Stargazer. The Northern Stargazer is so named because it has eyes placed on the top of its head rather than the sides like most other fish. However, in spite of this upwards placement, they aren't really stargazers. As a matter of fact, they typically live at depths of up to 120 feet beneath sea level. The upward placement of their eyes isn't for gazing at stars, but for gazing at prey. These creatures like to hunt by hiding along the sandy ocean floor and attack prey from below with their large mouth lined with sharp teeth. In addition to having such powerful jaws, they can also generate electric shocks like eels. They can grow up to 22 inches long. Number 11, Australian Ghost Shark. Despite its name, the ghost shark isn't actually a shark, but a distant cousin of rays and sharks. Having lived for over 400 million years without undergoing many changes, it is referred to as a living fossil. They are sometimes called elephant sharks, whitefish, and even plow-nosed chimera. It is typically found in the waters of Australia, at depths of up to 656 feet beneath sea level. It has a very distinctive appearance, including a hose-shaped snout, which it uses to probe the ocean bottom for invertebrates and small fishes. It can grow a maximum of five feet long, and it is silvery in color, with iridescent reflections and dark variable markings on the sides. Number 10, Barrelai Fish. Also known as spookfish, barrelai fish are deep sea fishes found in tropical to temperate waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. They get their name because of their barrel shaped tubular eyes, which are generally directed upwards to detect the silhouettes of available prey. However, unlike, say, the northern stargazer, they can also direct their gaze forwards as well to detect predators or unlikely prey. They can be found between 1,312 feet to 8,208 feet beneath sea level. One of their most distinctive features is that they have a transparent head. Their large, flat fins allow them to appear almost motionless in the water, allowing them to close the distance on their prey with ease. Number 9. Pink See-Through Fantasia this is a species of deep-sea cucumber who was only discovered in 2007. It can typically be found in remote areas of the Western Pacific Ocean. They feed mostly on seafloor sediments, and they do so by pushing food into their mouths with their tentacles. However, they are very quick eaters and spend at most 64 seconds taking in food. Since they are completely transparent organisms, their internal organs such as their mouth, anus, and intestines can all be seen from the outside. They are bioluminescent creatures and can emit light to signal predators that they aren't worth eating. Number 8. Frilled Shark It's very easy to mistake this southern African frilled shark as an eel or even a sea snake. After all, they have a flat and elongated appearance. They can grow up to 6 feet long and have their dorsal, pelvic, and anal fins located towards the tail. Their name is inspired by the fact that they have six pairs of gill slits around their throat. They have quite a terrifying mouth with a lower jaw that is between 21 to 29 rows of recurved needle-like teeth for snagging, capturing, and eating soft-bodied cephalopods, small sharks, and bony fish. The comparison to snakes doesn't just end with their appearance, as they ambush their prey like snakes too. But once they grab onto their prey, it is almost impossible to escape. Number 7. Humphead Ross Also known as the Napoleon fish, the Humphead Ross has a very large bump on its forehead, giving its name. It also has very prominent lips. But those aside, this fish has blue-colored scales and large eyes, which give it an even more distinctive appearance. In fact, if not for the absence of a nose, they would have a human face. Appearance aside, there are a couple of other special things about the Humphead Ross. For one, all members of the species are born as females. Some of them can transition into males, but only when the need arises. The Humphead Ross is also one of the few species of creatures that can eat toxic animals. They are an endangered species. Number 6. Yeti Crab 
Although sometimes called the hairy lobster, this crab is more closely related to crabs than lobsters. It was discovered in 2005 in the South Pacific Ocean. It can grow up to six inches long. One of its distinctive features is the presence of silky blonde CT covering its claws and back. It is for this reason that it is named the Yeti Crab. Because the Yeti Crab has poorly developed eyes, it's considered to be nearly blind. Its hairy pincers contain filamentous bacteria that detoxify poisonous minerals from the water emitted by the hydrothermal vents where it lives. These filamentous bacteria also serve as the main source of nutrients for the Yeti Crab. Number 5. The Sea Angel Despite the ethereal appearance of this creature, it in fact belongs to a species of slug. Their feet have developed into large wing-like flapping appendages that help them move in the water. Though they are born with shells, they discard these structures a few days after hatching. They are gelatinous, mostly transparent, and very small, only growing to about 2 inches long. They are hermaphrodites which undergo internal fertilization. They're widely distributed and can be found in habitats ranging from polar regions to equatorial tropic seas. When it comes to their diet, they can survive entirely on sea butterflies. Some hunt by ambush, while others closely pursue their prey. They use hooks and tooth radula to tear their prey apart. Number 4. Blobfish The blobfish was voted as the world's ugliest animal in 2013. It can be found in the waters of Australia, Tasmania, and New Zealand. This creature is composed primarily of gelatinous flesh. It has no muscle, and for this reason, its flesh grows in amorphous folds about its mass. This is a big part of how it gets its name. With no muscle, the blobfish isn't the best of swimmers. Nonetheless, it can move about the seafloor. This is because its gelatinous flesh is slightly less dense than water, and so it can float about the seafloor without expanding energy on swimming. This fish typically grows to 12 inches long. It can also be found at depths of between 2,000 to 4,000 feet. It doesn't hunt, but rather feeds on organic matter that floats into its mouth. Number 3. Blue Sea Dragon Although the blue sea dragon is in fact a species of slug, it has an appearance that lives up to its common name. They grow up to an average of 1.2 inches in length and can live for up to a year under the right conditions. This creature has a flat, tapering body and six appendages that branch out into rayed finger-like serrata. It is very brightly colored, being silvery gray on the dorsal side, dark and pale blue ventrally, and with dark blue stripes on its head. Despite how attractive it is, predators will be surprised if they try to hunt this creature. It is able to swallow the venomous nemesis from creatures such as the Portuguese man of war and store them in the extremities of its finger like serrata. And so, touching the blue sea dragon can result in a painful sting, with symptoms similar to those caused by the Portuguese man of war. These may include nausea, pain, and vomiting. They can be found near the surface of the water, using surface tension to stay afloat and get around. They also employ countershading to stay somewhat camouflaged. Number 2. Hairy Frogfish The hairy frogfish has a rounded, extensible body. Its soft skin is covered with irregularly arranged dermal spinules resembling hairs. It can grow up to 8.7 inches long. When it comes to color though, there is a wide range of variability between individual members of a species. After all, each member adopts a color that allows it to blend into its environment. To change color, it usually takes a few weeks. This frogfish has a large mouth that is forwardly extensible, and so it has the ability to swallow prey that is as large as it is. They sometimes crawl or walk against the seafloor like frogs in search of prey. They are voracious carnivores. Number 1. Sarcastic Fringehead This hardy saltwater fish can grow up to 12 inches long. It has a very large mouth and is very aggressive. They can typically be found in the Pacific Ocean, off the west coast of the USA. They thrive at a depth between 10 to 250 feet beneath sea level. When two fringe heads have a territorial battle, they wrestle by pressing their distended mouths against each other, as if they were kissing. 
This allows them to determine which is the larger fish, which establishes dominance. To move about, they employ short, fast, dart-like maneuvers. This is partly because they have no scales, but have great pectoral fins and reduced pelvic fins. Which sea creature did you find most interesting?